Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us offer this Mass for our intentions and for the intentions of the people whom we promise to pray for, especially those who are suffering from their sickness. And so to prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's mercy. All together we say, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my, in my words, words, in what, what I have done, done in what I have failed to do. do. Through, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit come near and dwelling graciously within us may make of us a perfect temple of His glory, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Miletus, Paul had the presbyters of the church at Ephesus summoned. When they came to him, he addressed them. You know how I lived among you the whole time from the day I first came to the province of Asia. I served the Lord with all humility and with the tears and trials that came to me because of the plots of the Jews. And I did not at all shrink from telling you what was for your benefit, or from teaching you in public or in your homes. I earnestly bore witness for both Jews and Greeks to repentance before God and to faith in our Lord Jesus. But now, compelled by the Spirit, I am going to Jerusalem. What will happen to me there I do not know, except that in one city after another, the Holy Spirit has been warning me that imprisonment and hardships await me. Yet I consider life of no importance to me, if only I may finish my course and the ministry that I receive from the Lord Jesus. 
to bear witness to the gospel of God's grace. But now I know that none of you to whom I preach the kingdom during my travels will ever see my face again. And so I solemnly declare to you this day that I am not responsible for the blood of any of you. For I did not shrink from proclaiming to you the entire plan of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. A bountiful rain you showered down, O God, upon your inheritance. You restored the land when it languished. Your flock settled in it. In your goodness, O God, you provided it for the needy. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Blessed day by day be the Lord, who bears our burdens, God who is our salvation. God is a saving God for us. The Lord, my Lord, controls the passageways of death. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Please stand. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son so that your Son may glorify you, just as you gave him authority over all people so that your Son may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life, that they should know you, they on, the only true God and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorified you on earth by accomplishing the work that you, have, that you, gave, me to do, that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. I rebuild your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belonged to you, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you, because the words you gave me I have given to them, and they accepted them and truly understood that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for the ones you have given me, because they are yours, and everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine and I have been glorified in them. And now I will, I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world while I am coming to you. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, everyone. 
Tunay pong napakaganda ng ating umaga at uh, tunay namang kapuri-puri ang Panginoon para sa araw na ito. Pakibati nga po ng inyong mga katabi at inyong sabihin na tunay na kapuri-puri ang Diyos kasi may bagong pag-asa para sa iyo at para sa akin. Sige nga po. Minsan masarap ding ipaalaala sa atin, sa bawat isa sa atin, kung gaano tayo um, kapinagpapala ng Diyos. At sa buhay natin, napaka-importante ng panalangin. And prayer should be part of our life, should be our life. Kasi sa prayer, ibinibigay ng Panginoon ang lahat ng ating mga pangangailangan. Sa prayer, tinutugon ng Diyos at sinasagot ng Diyos ang mga bagay na hindi natin nauunawaan at ang lahat ng mga katanungan natin sa mundong ito. And prayer is our daily communication with God. And even God, our Lord Jesus Christ, prayed for us. In our gospel for today, from John 17, verse 1 to 11, it's all about the high priestly prayer. This prayer is often called the high priestly prayer for two reasons. First, Jesus is preparing to offer himself as a sacrifice for the sins of the world. Siya mismo yung offer kung paano ang ampari ay naghahandog sa Diyos. Si Kristo mismo nung panahon na ito, matapos ang hapunan ay inihahanda niya ang offering para sa katubusan ng kasalanan. And second, he intercedes for his disciples in the in the same way that the high priests intercede for the people of Israel. Maging ang Panginoon ay patuloy tayong pinagdarasal at hinahangad na tayo ay patuloy na makapiling ng Diyos. And in our gospel, we are again reminded of the glory of Jesus as our Savior. His glory and power rotate to all of us that we must remember how He ascends into heaven. His ascension will always be our greatest hope that He will always be there for us even in our hardest times. Though madalas, tayo yung nagdududa sa presence ng Panginoon. Madalas tayo yung umaayaw dahil madalas abala tayo sa pang-araw-araw nating buhay. But then, ang Panginoon kailanman hindi nawala sa atin. Mahalaga tayo sa Panginoon. Mahalaga meaning mahal at alaga tayo ng Panginoon. Kaya lagi nating i-remind sa ating mga sarili kung gaano tayo kahalaga, ng Pangin- kahalaga sa mata ng ating Panginoon. God really cares for all of us. Ayaw niya na isa man sa ibinigay ng Diyos, sa, ng Diyos sa masa Kanya ay mawawaya. Kaya lagi nating tatandaan na tayo ay mahalaga sa Kanya. At dahil mahalaga tayo sa Panginoon, dapat meron din tayong pagpapahalaga sa ating kapwa. Kung papaanong pinapahalagahan tayo ng Diyos at tayo ipinagdarasal at hinahangad na maging mabuti ang ating buhay kahit wala na siya, kahit hindi kapiling sa panahon natin ngayon, siya'y nananatili at sana maipakita at may padama natin yung pagpapahalagang yon sa ating kapwa. Tayo mismo ang magiging daan ng grasya at pagpapahalaga ng Diyos sa ating kapwa. Jesus speaks from the depths of His heart. He tells us of the Father's love. This is a reminder that we all have something to wait us in heaven if we do good here on earth. We see Jesus acknowledge His divine purpose. He prays for us as He sacrificed Himself for us. He is willing to do all trials and struggle for the redemptions of humanity. And ito po yung invitation sa atin ng Panginoon na sa bawat pagyakap natin sa krus na ating tatahakin, lagi nating pasalamatan din ang Panginoon, ang Diyos Ama, na siyang nagbibigay ng dahilan ng lahat ng meron tayo. Na siyang nagbibigay ng dahilan kung paano dapat tayo nagpapatuloy sa buhay. 
the gospel shows us eternal life that Jesus offered to mankind. It means that we need to know the one and only true God whom God the Father sent to us. To experience the everlasting life, we need to digest the true meaning of our existence. Kung bakit marami sa atin ay tila naliligaw ng landas at nagtatanong sa Panginoon kung bakit nangyayari ang mga bagay na to, kasi hindi natin nakikita yung totoong kahulugan kung bakit tayo umiiral sa mundong ito. Ipaalala natin sa ating sarili kung bakit tayo umiiral sa mundong ito. At yun ay para damhin ang pagmamahal ng Diyos, ipadama din sa ibang tao at maging instrumento tayo para sa gawang pagpapahayag ng mabuting balita. We also need to reflect our connection we have with that of that sacrifices of Jesus. In conclusion, people as we should know firsthand how to experience the divinity of God. We must learn to do the things that God wants us to do. We should live to the expectation of Jesus and remember how he died on the cross for all of us. And once again, my dear brothers and sisters, Lagi natin tatandaan, God really cares for us. Lagi tayong mahalaga sa Diyos. Mahal at alaga tayo ng Diyos. Amen. Please stand. Christ, our Lord, predicted his saving death and resurrection. Through him, the suffering servant, let us bring our petitions to the Father of all, of all mercies. In every petition, our response be, Father, may your glory shine on us. Father, may your glory shine on us. That the leaders of the church may show us a clear vision of patient endurance in the turmoil of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father may, your may your glory, glory shine, shine on, on us. us. That the nations may know the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom he has sent. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father may, may your glory, glory shine, shine on, on us. That we may work and pray for the unity of all who bear the name of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father may, may your glory shine on us. That the sick may unite their sufferings with those of Jesus on the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father may, may your, your glory, glory shine, shine on us. That those who have gone before us in this life may receive the eternal reward promised to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, may your, may your glory, glory shine, shine on us. Father, you glorified your Son, and in him we will be glorified. Welcome our prayers because we belong to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder, mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts. He ascended not to distance himself from our lonely state, but that we, his members, might be confident in, of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, in the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially Heriberto, John Arnold, and Harold, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, 
Saints Augustine and Monica, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my mirror. roof. But, but only, only say, say the, the word, word and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Oh, 
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go with peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. Thanks be to God.